Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where we're really excited because we're about to go on our first ever cruise. Oh, we cannot wait. I'm so excited to see what cruising's all about. We're going on the Carnival Mardi Gras from Port Canaveral here in Florida. It's a six night Eastern Caribbean cruise and I'm honestly so excited because all these years I've wanted to do a cruise and we thought this would be the perfect opportunity with our trip to Florida this time. Uh, taking a bit of a break in the middle of doing the theme parks and going on a cruise. We're going to be stopping at various different ports and we'll talk more about that, of course, when we get onto the ship. Uh, now, of course, there's so many different cruise lines out there. Um, there's Royal Caribbean, there's Disney, um, of course, Carnival, lots of other companies. But the reason that we thought we'd go for Carnival for our first cruise was because there's a roller coaster on it. How cool is that? We can ride a roller coaster <laughs> while out in the middle of the ocean. Oh, that's going to be awesome. We'll be covering that, of course, over on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, but also on this channel, we're going to be taking you for the full cruise experience. We're going to vlog every day. We're going to show you everything that's going on. Uh, we're going to see the food options, the entertainment, what the ship's like, what our room's like. And yeah, it's just going to be an absolutely awesome experience. But uh, to start it all off, we're actually still here at Universal Orlando Resort. Um, our friend now is taking us to the airport. And when we get to the airport, we're going to be boarding a shuttle, uh, which is going to take us down to Port Canaveral. Now, I booked this online through a company called GoPort. It cost around $100. Um, that was for both of us. For a return shuttle down to the port. So I don't think that's too bad. That's no, not too bad. At least it gets us down there. Yeah, that's the thing. Much cheaper than getting like an Uber all the yeah. way from here down to Canaveral. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. So we're going to make our way to the airport. We've got everything packed up and then we're going to make our way down to the cruise and yeah, go through the whole experience. Never done one before. We're not cruise experts, uh, but that's the thing. We're just going to go for it, vlog our experience and show you what it's like cruising for the first time. Should we do it? Let's go. Let's go and start our cruise. So that was really straightforward. We arrived here at Orlando International Airport, came down to level one, and right next door to all the car rental booths, there was the area for GoPort. We just went over there, checked in, took about 60 seconds, and they gave us this just here, told us to come and sit down, and they're gonna call us when our bus is ready. And we're waiting less than 10 minutes there, and they called our number out, and we're now loaded straight here onto the coach. Really good service. Yeah, these just took our main suitcase, put it down there in the storage area, and we've got our smaller hand luggage with us just here. So we'll be on our way now down to Port Canaveral. Well, about one hour later, we've arrived here at our cruise terminal. Very nice and easy that was. And yeah, with GoPods, of course, they drop off at quite a few different cruise terminals. We was the second drop off. And yeah, it only takes about five minutes, really, doesn't it, that? Yeah, quick and easy. They load your bags off and then off you go. Yeah, so what happens is they take your main suitcase, they put a tag on it, and it goes straight off, doesn't it? Yeah, and it? then it gets delivered to your room, I believe. Yeah, which is brilliant, really. Yeah, we've just got our hand luggage on us. Yeah, so I do like that. It's nice and easy not having to kind of um, lug a large case around as we make our way to the check-in area. We have got a check-in time. Uh, we've arrived quite a bit earlier than that because, of course, we wanted to make sure we're here in plenty of time. So I'm not too sure if they'll let us on early or not, but we'll find out. Um, we yeah, had the service from GoPort there and um, was absolutely fantastic. And of course, yeah, we've just seen the ship for the first time. You can't really see much of it from here. Well, there's the back of it um, just off to the side. We'll get some better angles, of course, uh, hopefully when we're walking onto it. But yeah, we're going to make our way around here now and uh, go and check in with Carnival for the Mardi Gras. First ever time at a cruise port. And I tell you what, uh, there's a lot going on. Like There's cases everywhere. There's people getting dropped off. There's a lot happening. It's like organized chaos. Well, that was nice and easy. We've just shown our boarding pass down here. Worth pointing out, they do need to be printed out. However, if you don't have them printed, you can just go to the little desk there and they will print them out for you, which is great. So we're making our way upstairs now into the cruise terminal, massive building. Of course, if you wanted to, you can drive and park down here as well. There is a multi-story next door. Got the music on, I'm really excited, Charlotte. Time. Here we go, let's go and get checked in. Hopefully we can get on a bit earlier. Don't see why not. So they've allowed us to check in early, which is great. And yeah, we've made our way upstairs through the security area. I'm just thought I'd show you this amazing model of the ship that we're going on. Look at this. Of course, there's the coaster down there at the back, all the top deck. 
It looks absolutely huge, doesn't it? Never done anything quite like this before. So we are very excited. We yeah, just wanted to show you that model of the Mardi Gras. So yeah, it was airport style security that we went through, scanning all of our bags. Of course, body scanners as well. And yeah, you've got a photo opportunity. Backdrop just here as well, which is fantastic. We make our way down towards the ship. Really nice and easy. Wow, look at the size of this ship. And yeah, really nice and easy. We've just had our photo taken. And that's like our boarding pass. Yeah, I'd imagine when we get back on the ship, after we've been off at the different ports, they'll just scan that. And of course, our photo comes up. But look at this, a massive operation. It really is. You can see all the cargo kind of being loaded on down here. We've got some onions down there, yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, some onions going on. There we go. That's your tea going on just there. Fantastic. There we go. Fantastic. We've been told that our room's going to be ready from 1.30, which is great, earlier than expected. And also, food's available straight away on deck 16. Fantastic. So that's where we're going. Hey, actually going to get some lunch. We are starving. We thought we are going to hold off because, of course, once we're on here, food's included now. And here we go. Saying goodbye to the land and hello to the ship. Wow. Here we go, look at this. First time ever on a cruise. Oh wow. Look at this, as soon as you come in. So the first thing that I've done is open up the app here and connect it to the Wi-Fi. And yeah, of course it is paid Wi-Fi on board. We'll talk more about that later on when we get in the cabin. Uh, but firstly, I just wanted to say that we've got to go to the muster station, which I believe is a safety thing. So we're going to head there first which is forwards on deck seven. So we're going to muster station A6 for like a safety briefing. Oh, it's very fancy in here. And the good thing is our muster station, basically the place we come to in an emergency is in the big theater just here. Um, so yeah, literally we just come down here. Only took about 60 seconds to show us how to put a life jacket on. Uh, and this is where we come in an emergency. At least it's easiest for us to find if we do have an emergency. Yeah, that's the thing. But uh, yeah, it was quite easy. I thought we were gonna have like more being said, but no, it was nice and easy. I think the idea of getting you down here is just to show you where it is just in case. Yeah. Right then, now that's all done and dusted, it's nearly 1.30, so we thought before we go and get some lunch, let's go and show you our room, and yeah, let's get into there. As you can see, you've got the temperature and also the time, and also it tells you where you can go ashore and back on board um, there as well, which is going to come in handy, of course, for the ports that we're going to be stopping at. And here's a look then at the corridors. Yeah, very nice. Ambient lighting at the sides. Carpet's good down here as well. And yeah, as you mentioned outside, our luggage will be getting delivered here to the cabin. But yeah, we're just in a standard stateroom. And you know what? We're very impressed with it. Let's go and have a look inside. And here we go. Welcome to our stateroom. I just want to say straight away, considering this is the cheapest option on the ship, it's much bigger than I was actually expecting. This is quite spacious. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than this. Yeah, a lot of people said, you know, if you're going for these kind of internal cabins without windows, the tiny, I've stayed in much smaller hotel yeah, rooms than this. It's a great space. Maybe that's the thing, because we're used to being in the UK. Maybe so, like, yeah. Some small hotels like Ibises and stuff have tiny They're rooms. really small, so this is quite spacious for us. Yeah, you might be thinking, what's this on the bed? Let's get this straight in. So this is actually to put your luggage on. I mean, we just put ours down here, but this is a nice idea for unpacking to save like you're messing up all your bed in. You can just kind of, and put your case on there. Yeah, we just got to wait for our main case to arrive. Yeah, it's an interesting system that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So they put your keys outside and your case outside your door for when you come in, but ours hasn't come yet. Yeah, I mean, we're earlier than expected. We so. are, we can pick it up later. Yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, it's very different. Like I say, we had like a little envelope out the front with our keys in, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and then we've got all the information ready to go. But yeah, I'm really impressed. See, so yeah, obviously you've got this nice backdrop over here with the lighting, which looks good. Picture over on the wall. And quite a large bed. Again, I was expecting the bed to be really small. Like this is bigger than our this bed at home. This is a great size bed. Yeah, of course we're on here for six nights. And yeah, we'll go through our different calling ports shortly as well. But yeah, I think this is great. Obviously you've got some storage at either side as well. You've got the nice little flip out lights just there, which are good for reading or just like on an evening when I'm editing and that sort of thing. And if we look back this way, TV just over there. Again, I thought maybe it was going to be a flip out TV or something, but no, it's That's actually great. there on the wall. We even got some little seagulls there for you, oh, Charlotte. I love that. Hey, shout for now. <laughs> I love that. Of course, yeah, you get information on here. The app is really good from what I've seen so far. And that's Hub TV um, just on there, which is nice. I wasn't even expecting like a little desk area, to be honest. And that's the thing, I set my, the bar low for me. We're just going for like the cheapest kind of um, accommodation on here. Um, I really wasn't thinking it was going to be like this big, but it's great, like fantastic. AC units up there, some storage at the side. And of course, all this really helps, doesn't it? Um, when you're on a cruise ship, just especially so you can have um, like your drinks and especially when you've got a laptop and editing gear like myself. 
it's ideal. Uh, lots of USB chargers there. Of course, got the uh, plug sockets there as well. Use the American um, plug socket. Is that just like a little poof down there? Looks like it. Oh, it opens up. And then we've got a little fridge down there too, which of course is uh, very handy. We have all this space over here, uh, which is nice. I reckon that connects through to another room I'd in there. I'd say so, yeah, because it's locked on. Yeah, we haven't looked in there, but I reckon that is a, a connecting door. We'll confirm that. Little bin down there. Here we go. Show you some of the storage areas loads that of storage. we got. Oh, this is great. We can put the cases in there to like get them out of the way. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be anywhere near as nice because a lot of people said, you know, oh, you know, you're going to want a balcony or you're going to want at least a window. But for us, this is great. Like, we don't intend even spending that much time in here, but, um, you know, we're going to be enjoying all the facilities. Yeah, there's a look inside. Very dark in there, so you might, mm -hmm. might not have shown up the best for you all. Of course, there's the door. And then, yeah, here's a look. Inside the bathroom, toilet just down there, and again, slightly bigger than I was expecting. Shower just over there, which looks pretty good. As we can see, definitely be giving that a go. There's our sink area, and again, you've got more storage all down there at the side as well. So yeah, lots of uh, toilet rolls down there as well. We've got, we've got four stacked up, five stacked up down there. Tissues down there as well, I suppose, with the kind of changeover times, um, it's easier to just leave stuff in here, isn't it? You know, so when they are um, getting all the cabins ready. But yeah, our stateroom, I'm impressed with it, Charlotte. Yeah, I think this is a really nice size. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do now is go and get some food. It said deck 16, there's food straight away. So we're gonna head up there. I don't know if the other places are open yet or not. So I am so hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're on here quite early. We sail at four o'clock and we've we got the sail away party. We've got the entertainment schedule. Now you'd be thinking this is for the whole trip. This is for one day. No way. It is, yeah. This, cause it's got the date on it. This is literally one day's worth of everything in there. I mean, there's everything. There's the coasters, there's the pools. Prize bingo tonight. Karaoke. Yeah, you can win prizes at this party. You can win shore excursions and stuff. Yeah, and the first piece of entertainment we're going to be seeing is the sail away party. Yeah, and that is at 4 p.m. on deck 16. We're having our food. Right at the top, and yeah, we're on deck 10, so we we're kind of like halfway up in a way, yes, really. It's not too bad. Should we go and get something to eat? Yes, I'm starving. Let's go for it. There we go. I'm really excited for this. Hey, 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 here we go. Welcome to Deck 16. And already the party is underway just up here. Here's Charlotte, blowing a bit of Caribbean music to get us in the mood. Oh, oh the first thing we're going to do is get some food. We are, look at this up here. Absolutely amazing. Now, of course, lots of the dining is included in the price. You've got some speciality dining options, but you know us, we just want the basic stuff, don't get we? Me to the hey, look at this now, all the pool area. Straight into the Lido restaurant here and look at all this food. Charlotte, you can eat as much as you want now for the next week. <laughs> She's getting excited here. Oh, I'm glad we waited now. Look at this. Have as much as you want, Charlotte, all including the price. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so nice to be here on the ship where we can really relax now. There's a look down at the cruise terminal. Of course, we walked all along the side there where we got our first glance of the Mardi Gras. Beautiful vessel. And of course, yeah, we're docked here for another couple of hours before the sail away party. Oh, I'm fine, I? <laughs> it is really warm on here, isn't it? I keep finding myself and I'll be fine. Luckily, in the stateroom, it's nice and cold. Yeah, it's nice and cool in there, which is good. Yeah, I reckon that when we get out at sea, there'll be more of a breeze. Yeah, because you're at the sea, aren't you? So the breeze should be coming. Especially on the top deck as well. <laughs> there we go, using the uh, show's platter <laughs> just there. <Yeah. laughs> what you had for lunch then? I just got some mac and cheese. I'm going to go up again and see what else I can get because we had some curly fries outside. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a lot of options, especially on the outside. There's pizza yeah. somewhere around here. I'm not going to eat too much too soon. Yeah, it's only lunchtime for now. Well, we have some curly fries. I'm just going for a nice piece of uh, chocolate fudge cake just here. Tastes a bit like the ones at Weatherspoons. Very nice. So yeah, this is the main buffet restaurant. And yeah, with it being lunchtime, here's a look at what they're serving at the moment. Yeah, I imagine it's going to change, uh, kind of depending on the time of day and also each day of the cruise as well. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you all of this area so that you can see it. Very nice though. I like how you can sit looking out of the window. And yeah, we're going to get some awesome views. Roast beef just there looks quite nice. All your different options down here too, lots of different meats. Of course we'll be coming here quite a bit and seeing what they've got. And yeah, they've got quite a large dessert area down here as well, so I'll show you that too. Beverages just over here, so you can get water and juices unlimited free of charge. Then of course you can do different drinks packages if you want soft drinks uh, and also alcohol. We've not done any drinks packages, we're just going to kind of pay for our drinks um, as we go if we do want them because we're not like heavy um, drinkers. You know, we might have a couple of cocktails every so often, but we won't have loads, you know, so a drinks package didn't really work for us. Yeah, here's a look at the salad bar. Very nice, lots of choice down here, big variety. 
Ooh, cookies just there too. And of course, there's food options available all night as well. I mean, not in here, I don't think, but uh, like the pizza place, I think that's open like 24 hours a day. So you're never going to go hungry on a cruise ship. And yeah, we had some curly fries outside. Just show you some of them options that there is. Because yeah, it's very nice down there as well. That fudge cake was delicious though. It's got some sausages just over there. They're quite nice, don't they? Frankfurter. We've got some different cakes just over here as well. Ooh, look at those, that raspberry cake looks good just up there. Salted caramel cheesecake. Mm. No, that's what I just had over there. The double chocolate cake, German chocolate cake there as well. And a custard tart. Very nice, yeah, you can get ice cream unlimited as well, which is really good. There's so many places that are included to get food. You've got a place here called Big Chicken. So I'm going to try something from here now. Why not? It's all included. I was just had a dessert, but you know what? I could have another mate. I'm going to hold off for later. Oh yeah, we're on a cruise, Charlotte. It's all paid for. I'm having some. Oh, this looks nice. We've got two chicken tenders just there and the speciality fries as well. So yeah, see what these are like. Why not? Going to have a look at the cruise itinerary in just a moment. What you got there, Charlotte? I've gone for some mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. I'd rather eat something that I know I'm going to like. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Yeah, the chicken tenders are really good. I know there's not loads there, but you can go up again. We can go up right now. Hey. <laughs> And of course, with us being here at Port Canaveral, over there in the distance, you can actually see the Kennedy Space Center over there as well, and all the rocket launch sites. And yeah, there is a video on this channel back when it was called Adventure Sean, where I visited there a couple of years ago. Just chilling out here now, looking at the views. It's nice just here in the port, to be honest. So I can't wait to see all the places we're going to be visiting. And here's a look at the itinerary just over here. So of course, yeah, Sunday today, day one, sail away at four o'clock. And tomorrow, we're going to be in Nassau in the Bahamas. And yeah, there's a look at the times. So yeah, we come in at approximately 10.15, back on board for 6.30. Tuesday, which is day number three, we've got a fun day at sea. So yeah, we can just explore the ship and of course have a nice relax. Wednesday, day four, Amber Cove. And you can see the times just there as well. We come in early, 9.15, back on board for 5.30. Thursday, which is day five, Grand Turk. Uh, guest ashore at 7.15, that's an early one, and back on board at uh, 3.30. And then of course Friday, we've got another fun day at sea. And then of course Saturday, we arrive at 7 a.m. Then we make our way to Walt Disney World. So yeah, we're gonna be nice and relaxed, ready for our Disney vacation as well. But yeah, this is great. Really nice here. I've just also signed up for the Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go through the packages for you now. It's very expensive. But just before we go through the Wi-Fi options, we're having some ice cream first from Swirls over here. You just have yourself. You ever done this before, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, I love how all this is included. Oh, is she going to make me a good whippy? Oh, oh, that's not too bad. Oh my God, how much is she having? That's a big one. That's a good one. I tell you what, that. it's nice hard ice cream as well. I'm not good. Like good quality. You don't want them where they, you know, it's going to melt fast. That. I love that. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, that's great. That is. I don't think there's any toppings though, is there? Do you want what flavours have we got? So you've got chocolate, chocolate and vanilla, or vanilla. I'll just go with this for now. I'll be having about 50 of these this week. Yeah, no toppings, but still, if you can just do your own ice cream, is great. You don't have to have it in a curry if you don't want. Hey, I'll tell you what, Charlie, you did a good job with this ice I cream. I did. I'm delicious. You can work on ice cream, bud. I know I can. 90 minutes to go until the sail away party. Hey. Right then, let's talk about those internet prices. Of course, we are on a cruise, so it's always going to be expensive. You can get the social package just there. For the full cruise, it's $90. And as you can see, it gets you access to all of those websites. You then got the value package just here as well, uh, which gets you onto some more uh, websites. But yeah, you can either do that for 24 hours, which is $22, or $120 for the full cruise. And then you've got the final option, which is the premium package. This is what I've gone for. I mean, we need this one really with what we do. Um, but yeah, you can see you pretty much get everything on there. That's $30 for 24 hours or $132 for the full cruise. Most expensive Wi Fi ever bought, but I did expect it with us being on a cruise ship. Oh, no. There we go. And of course, that is per person, per device as well. But I believe you can change the device if you do want to. Drawn to the safety information notice and the ship's plan showing escape routes located behind your stateroom door. Please take the time to read all the safety notices thoroughly and become familiar with the ship's layout, emergency signs, and the escape room from your stateroom to your assigned master station. Good, Additionally, that? please watch the safety video playing on your stateroom TV. The captain requests that all guests who have not completed their self-muster process to do so now. Once again, 
The captain requests all guests who have not completed the self muster process to please proceed to the side muster station now. This is mandatory. All guest services will be suspended during the safety briefing. There we go. So we've got a safety briefing coming up. We've got a speaker us today, haven't we? That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it That's is. That's going to scare me if something goes off and I'm asleep. <laughs> don't Just worry. Just a random voice. Unless it was an emergency, I don't think they'd no, uh, be coming on there. So. Unless the captain is wanting to give everybody a bit of a scare in the night. It's going... <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, yeah, here we go. We've got on packs. Look at this. Got the uh, light round the mirror, which is quite fun to see. Can't believe how much room there is. And we found out you can put your uh, cases under the bed. How good's that? Because it saves them being out. That's fantastic. Yeah, we literally got on packs. This is like the charging station got me uh shaver on charge there got everything ready to go which is brilliant but yeah really impressed with this just in here nice big tv as well just on the wall then you've got cruise tv and also on here how do i get back to the menu but um yeah you've got um like different options that you can go on to like um watch live cameras of the ship if i can pan over to the right there That's we go cool, over to ship cams and look at all these different cams that you've got i mean it's not gonna be very exciting at the moment uh, let's go on to the bridge just there. Wait for that to load. But yeah, and then obviously you're going to be able to watch it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, so you can kind of see on a morning, especially when we're pulling in really early, um, and look on there and see what the weather's like, see the views. And yeah, that'd be quite cool to watch when we're sailing away. However, we're going to see it for person. We're going to head up there, aren't we now? We're going to party! Hey, yeah, it's a sail away party, which is a staple of any cruise ship. So we're going to head upstairs. Might have another one of them ice creams on the way oh, though, Charlotte. I am so good at the whipping machine. You are great. I'm going to get better after this week. Well, we saw so many whippies walking about. We thought, oh, they look, they look great. And then you did it. Amazing. Fantastic. Also, I want to make notes. These waters, we thought they were free and they're not. <laughs> they're 4.25, but you can fill up your bottles with water throughout the ship. Yeah, we'll, uh, we've got our water bottle. We'll go and fill that up literally around the corner. Yeah, and we get free juice as well. Which we're in a better. great location here as well. It is. not bad at all. Two minute walk and we're round by the lifts and the stairs and already we're starting to navigate the ship well, aren't we? We are. Should we go and head up to the top deck? Let's go. Hey, it's time for sailing away here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing there, but there you go. <laughs> Making our way then up to deck 16. And yeah, look at this, a map of this cruise. It is absolutely huge, isn't it? The Wi-Fi has been really good though so far, which is fantastic. Of course, that may change when we get out to sea. But yeah, there's good connection everywhere on the ship, which is great, like full bars of signal, which I'm really pleased about. But yeah, look at this. You've got the different elevator shafts just here as well. We're right by this one. You can wait a while for a lift, we've noticed, but I think that was just because everyone was coming on at the same time. They have actually got eight elevators all in this section here as you can see now it was very chaotic when people were coming on but the only ones here now Which so is yeah and the steps are right there if you're only going a couple of decks probably easier just to walk well the party is pumping up here on the top deck look at this everybody getting ready for the sail away party oh look at this what a vibe let me hear you make some noise. Woo! Oh, we're 17, are we? <laughs> 18, let me hear you make some noise. Hey. DJ OJ, I think they're ready, but I'm not really sure if they're ready. Like well, okay, how you've got all the dancers around the pool as well. Like the vibe is great. Hey. I'm see your hey. right we got our amazing fun squad. I'm about to show you something real nice. Each and every fun squad is going to show you a dance move. I need you to repeat. Come on, everybody! <laughs> hey, here he is, our cruise director. It's Jackie. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 Just 
from things. This next six days is going to be a magical moment. Y'all work way too hard to be here to not have a good time. And this time is your moment to shine. But we need to make sure we do it right. So here's what we're going to do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I want to introduce some very key individuals. So what I want you to do, I want you to start making that circle and start to introduce you to some great people. They're going to show you exactly how to party. So what I want you to do, I need you to back in your mouth. Hey, me at the house. What a start to our cruise. I love this vibe. Hey, here's our Mardi Gras entertainment team for the week. Love it. Now, in this competition, I need y'all to show me what you got. Yeah. Now, this is our dance competition. I'm going to get started. Contestant number one, get up in there. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited for you. Now, tell me what's your name and where you're from. I'm, I'm Sean from England. Woo! You better get it, brother. You better show them how the Brits do it. Woo! So, here we go. Now, Sean's going to play. You're going to show everyone. What you got? So here we go. In three, two, one, get a shot. Oh my god, that was so funny getting beat out there for the dance competition. We did a good job there as the boys, but the girls took that one home. It was so funny. The atmosphere is pumping out there. I can't believe it. Oh, I love that out there. You might be getting some dance moves from me. I'm in the raffle to be the Queen Mardi Gras. I love that. And we got another ice cream already. Chocolate and vanilla, this one. And yeah, as much as that is the sail away for us, we haven't actually sailed away yet. We've been pushed back till five o'clock, so yeah, we should be sailing away in a few minutes' time. But yeah, that is great fun out there. And the party continues out on the top deck. Oh, well, Charlotte's number wasn't picked out, unfortunately. We're just chilling out here now, dipping my feet in the pool, soaking up the atmosphere. But I tell you what, the sail away party was absolutely brilliant out there. We might not have sailed away yet, but you know what? I had so much fun. It was great, wasn't it? Oh, it was great seeing you dance, and everyone keeps coming up saying, great dancing. Yeah, it's quite funny. I've just been to refill the water. We're just coming down the steps again. And people keep saying, oh, great dancing, Sean, you're from the UK. Love that. So funny, because obviously there's not really many Brits on board. We've seen a couple, but not many. But yeah, people are fascinated. I love that. I hope we just let some sounds go. Has a good time. I wanted to see Charlotte dancing. I know. I would have proper gone for it. I'm sure there'll be plenty more opportunities over the next six will. days to get involved and interact. Oh, well, you know what? I'm feeling a bit hungry again. I'm ready for some food. So we've come here to Pizzeria del Capitano. And yeah, gonna have a nice pizza just over here now. Of course, just grab as much as you want to. And yeah, freshly baked just here as well. I like how you can see that. All the pictures over here. Let's go and grab a pizza. I'm loving just being able to grab what we want so far. So much. Oh, what have you got there? I went for the mushroom pizza. There we go, and I've gone for a nice classic margarita pizza. I thought it was just going to be a small slice, to be honest, but now I've got half a pizza just there. <laughs> really happy with that. Lovely. 
That pizza was really nice and I'll be definitely going back with some more of that. And there's so much food here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. We're just about getting our bearings now, aren't we? We are, we're getting nowhere stuff is. And there's so many bars, restaurants, so much included as well, which is brilliant. Very so good. Where are we going now? So we're going to watch a presentation now and they're giving away like free shore excursions and other bits, so we're going to see if we can win it. It's always worth doing that sort of stuff at the start. Definitely, and then later on there's winner cruise. Hey, <laughs> fantastic. Well, let's head down there. Look at this, we've got a car on board. And just before we head down to the theatre to try and win some shore excursions, we're now sailing away just here on the Mardi Gras. There's another cruise ship just over there. And here we go. Seven days of adventure away for us. Really exciting as we leave Port Canaveral just here. <laughs> That will be arriving at 10 a.m. All aboard is what time, everyone? 6.30, 6 correct. <laughs> and then the next day is the day at sea. Then we'll be going to Dominican Republic and the Cove. 9 a.m. arrival time. All aboard is what time? That's right, 5.30. Grand Tech is 7 a.m. And all aboard is what time? 3.30 or 7 is when we arrive. Then we've got another great day at sea out there, all right? Now, when you're going ashore, please make sure that you do have these following items with you. Make sure that you have your photo ID, that's like any government issued ID is completely fine. Driving license is fine, a passport is also okay for all guests over the age of 16. Now the reason why we need this is because the local authorities need to know who you say you are. Two, one, and go! Here we go, best moves! That's a hundred dollar oh, champagne. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my goodness. I love how oh interactive it is. <laughs> Woo! Oh, go Charlotte. Come on. Oh, he's on the stage. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, just stop. Just stop. Oh my goodness. It is really, really wonderful. Uh, it's actually the biggest water park in the Bahamas. So if you want to go check it out, this is great for all the kids out there. Not only that, you go and uh, it also includes this incredible uh, aquarium, which is like. Um, uh, it's like underneath, it's like underground, so make sure you go check it out. The Atlantis Aquaventure Day Pass as well. Catamaran sail and reef snorkeling. Now you can go out there with these incredible staff members. They'll be taking you out to the beautiful waters and so you can see sail as well. You can snorkel. Here we Here go. We go. All right. Giving I'm away an excursion. Number four, seven, zero, eight, six, seven. Oh, anyone here, Charlotte? No, we're three now. Oh. Going once. Oh, is that you? Oh, come on over here, Michael. And this one for some free internet package. Some arcade credits and so much more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Charlotte's she wants that free internet. Who's it going to be? <laughs> come on, Charlotte. Oh, there we have a winner. Who's it going to? Oh. All the way right over there. Congratulations, you did a good job. that is all yours. Oh, look at that amazing view. The ocean, and of course the sun's starting to go down as well. And it was well worth actually going to that presentation just, wasn't it? It was, they gave out loads, but we didn't win anything, unfortunately. Oh, there was about 10 prizes there, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, there was some they? really good ones as well. I love this just here now though. And it's much cooler than earlier. We were sweating up. When I did that dance earlier, I was baking up. Yeah, look at this now, looking out at the ocean. So many sun lounges around the side. And yeah, the pools are open until midnight, which is amazing. And of course, look at all these different rooms here that have got balconies. I think it'd be nice to have a balcony, but really, I'm really happy with our room. Like, you can just come out and sit here if you yeah, want. you can do. There's loads of sun lounges. you got to think a lot of the time, you're watching entertainment and things anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's like, if you want to just come and sit out here, you can do. Yeah, whatever time of the night you want. Oh, that is lovely. What a nice view there, Charlotte, with the sun going down. Fantastic. Yeah, there's a bar over here. We've got so much more to check out on this ship. We've barely um, covered it, to be honest. You know, we're just exploring it, taking it all in. We've got some entertainment to enjoy tonight as well. Stunning. Loads of areas just to chill out down here, which is nice. Got a couple of hot tubs over at the side. Oh, I love it. And it really doesn't feel that busy on here at all. Worth pointing out, they have got like a large adult area as well, which is fantastic somewhere upstairs. Oh, beautiful right down here at the back of the ship now yeah, there's loads of sun lounges and places to chill out and enjoy it oh, there's another pool that's down here as well oh there's just so much to see on here across all these different decks yeah oh this is nice down at the back though it kind of feels a bit like an infinity pool that doesn't it with it being at the back oh that is awesome makes you just want to jump in there oh wow 
Standing there, watching the sun go down, gorgeous. And we made our way inside now to the Grand Central area. Look at this massive atrium. And yeah, when we first walked into the ship, this was all open. And as you can see, it's turned into a screen now. Oh, it looks fantastic. And you got the big stage there at the bottom with a live band. Dan is in the mood for the Bahamas tomorrow. That's out. I love this setup in here though. Kind of got all the seating all the way down. Beautiful venue. And yeah, this is just open. You can kind of walk in from all these different decks and entries here. Oh, it's much cooler outside on a night. It's really nice just getting the breeze, especially earlier on. I was sweating when I was doing me dancing down there. And that's the thing on an evening now, everyone's spread out without the ship, people having dinner watching different entertainment there's so many different bars you got the casino so much entertainment to enjoy oh really excited to be spending the week on this ship how are you finding your cruising experience so far oh, it's so nice i'm so happy that it's cooled down i was so hot it's lush out here now with that breeze oh it is it's nice though it's like this is perfect out here i love the red frog tiki bar just over there as well that's nice look at this i can't believe how many pools there is on this ship like you've got another one just here on the top and yeah two hot tubs at either side as well this is beautiful it's another kind of infinity one down here at the back i mean that certainly looks the part especially at night now oh this is lush out here yeah i can't believe there's another three pools here because we was on a lower deck just and there was a pool there as well and the one in the middle that is crazy also the fact you've got a movie playing just out here on the top deck as well which is fantastic and yeah, the pool's really aren't that busy tonight. I, I'm loving the look of those. I'll definitely be jumping in on an evening. But yeah, we're gonna just go back to the cabin for a little bit now. And then we've got some entertainment to enjoy tonight. Look at that sky. Right then, just being back to our stateroom. And of course, a lot of you might be thinking, how are you finding it on a ship in terms of movement? Well, you can feel it moving a little bit, can't you? I'm actually gonna get me emotional sitting this tablet. <laughs> It's not too bad, but you can feel it shaking a little bit. I want to take these before bed, just so I don't keep waking up. Yeah, I mean, I just want to lie on the bed for a few minutes, just to kind of, you know, <laughs> see how it was. And you can tell that you're at sea, you know. It's not but, too bad. We yeah. went on a ferry like years ago, and that was really bad. Yeah, <laughs> but Tony, you're doing all right. Get your motion sickness tablets, and it'll be fine. Oh, we've got the trolley just down here. Just fill up with some water, and then I can take it. We're going back to the buffet as yeah. well. Yeah, hey, hello. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> Back to the buffet. Oh, I love how friendly everybody is. Lovely. Back to the buffet. We're just going to get something to eat and then we'll, uh, yeah, go watch some entertainment. A little bit more food there. And yeah, we're back here now in the centre of the ship. This, I love it in here. You've got multiple different levels that all connects together. Screens as well. Because you get the band on. Hey! Loads of seats down the front. Nice venue, this. Oh, I love it in here. Look at the lighting as well. As a bit of a lighting geek, I love it in here.
for a threat of all. You and my Well, I tell you what, that live entertainment there was brilliant. I loved it in the atrium. You felt right in the heart of the action with it being multi-level in there. And of course, all the talented musicians were amazing, weren't they? Oh, everyone was having such a good time. And what I liked with that is it was constantly bringing new acts out, which kept it fresh. Yeah, what it was, it was kind of an introduction to all the entertainment on the cruise. And yeah, it came up like with the theme of the different bars that they were appearing in and different shows. And yeah, kind of brought them all together for one big variety show. But yeah, that venue is amazing right there in the heart of the ship and of course that brings us to the end of our first day I tell you what what a day it's been we started off back at Universal earlier on uh, and then of course we got the transfer which was nice and easy over here wasn't oh, it? Oh it was fantastic that was so quick and convenient. Yeah I was very impressed with uh, GoPort just there and then of course yeah our experience checking in with the uh, carnival and getting onto the Mardi Gras first time cruisers not experts at mm. all but you know what um, it was pretty straightforward wasn't it? Yeah we got on quite quick I was expecting it to take a little bit longer but it wasn't too bad at all. Yeah like all the checking process, the security screening and of course just getting onto the ship uh, was fantastic. The biggest surprise for me is how nice our stateroom is just here. I thought it was going to be really small but it's not at all we is it? We have got so much space which is great and it's even more convenient that we can put the luggage underneath the bed. Yeah a lot of people say about inside cabins not having much room but this is fantastic for us and with the amount of time we spent out today <laughs> I think that's a sign really of how much time we're not really going to be in here and just out experiencing uh, everything the ship's got to offer and of course the uh, ports of call but uh, yeah what we've seen today entertainment wise great the ship is fantastic how are you feeling movement wise now i'm feeling a little bit shaky so i'm hoping i'll be okay in the night but it's only a little bit yeah it's very tiny there's not much that i can really <laughs> feel i think when you're in bed you'll soon fall asleep yeah to be i know honest. i'm quite tired um but yeah in terms it's been a long day in terms of the ship though it's beautiful it's really nice uh, i love the kind of casual but fun atmosphere of it they say that carnival's a really fun cruise line and i'm getting that vibe everyone's just having a good time chilling out it's really laid back not formal at all uh, which is perfect for us that's what we wanted and uh, yeah we've got so much to enjoy including um tomorrow where we're going to be at our first port of call it's nassau in the bahamas oh i'm really looking forward to that and see what it's all about yeah so we've got no excursions booked or anything like that we're just gonna have a stroll around the port get some photos and videos of the ship and that sort of thing and just chill out we've come for a relax we don't want to be doing anything too um high energy activities i know it's unlike us <laughs> but we've come on this in the middle of our florida holiday for relax to chill out 
and to ride the old world coaster. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. We're just getting started and lots more coming up. We've barely even touched the surface showing you the ship, know, have we? There is so much, it's huge. Like, we've walked around quite a lot of it tonight, but we thought we'll save even more of it for you uh, coming up. We've got more entertainment and so much more as well. But uh, there we go. Come and join us for day number two um, of the Carnival Mardi Gras. Thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures. See you in the next video.